video guys it's Thomas Tom Chris Iron Pillar I'm gonna just make a statement that the most important time you or the most valuable uh, thing you can spend your time on is it's very simple but it is in the presence of God just you and the Lord sitting in front of the feet of Jesus sitting at the feet of Jesus and just sitting there a lot of people uh, talk about meditation talk about mindfulness and all of these things which can help of course to like steal your mind and reset but just coming into the presence of God in your room and on your knees preferably if you can and just spending time with God alone, you and God alone, or you and Jesus alone, you and the Holy Spirit. That is what I experienced has the most transforming power in my life. And I've done it way too little uh, the last two, three years. But before that, that was mostly the thing that I did all day long was just spend time with God and a lot of time just sitting in the presence of Jesus and soaking his presence uh, which is really yeah what has uh, always revitalized my spiritual life and I just recommend you do the same try just go before God say God is just come before you and ask you God to put me in the front in front of the feet of Jesus so I can just sit with you Father God and Jesus and just meditate with you on your word speak to me anything you want to speak to me because this is not a time of me coming with a lot of requests you can do that too as you feel led but the point is merely to just spend time personal intimate time you and God alone and this is not corporate, this is not with a lot of other people in the room, this is you and Jesus, or you and God, Father, you alone with God. Now, I believe that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I believe, I believe these three are one, uh, as it says in the King James Bible, in uh, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 8, if I co recall correctly. So... This is a relationship. Christianity is not what you do. Still, a lot of people think Christianity is a set of things to do. It's like a to-do list. No, not really. Of course, it entails things to do. But it's a personal relationship with you and the Godhead, okay? With God himself, the Lord himself. So the most important thing you do is to get to know God and spend time with Him. And that's how you revitalize your inner life. You know, in Him you have eternal life. So if you're not soaking in His life, then how can you like have His life in you? Of course, it stays there. As you come to faith in Jesus, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit on the inside. So He doesn't leave you nor forsake you. But in order for that life to just rejuvenate you and fill you up and make you new in your inner being, you need to spend time with God, to spend time with Jesus. And also a thing I was reminded today was about communion because Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you, ha you don't have um, the life in you. Because Jesus is our life. So we need to also be obedient to what he calls us to do regarding communion. Taking communion, the bread and the wine. Which is the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm not one to say that this is only symbolic. I can't say that because the Bible says, or Jesus said, this is my flesh, this is my blood. And interpret it however you want. But I'm just not going to diminish his words. Okay? So, God bless you. And just revitalize yourself in the presence of the Lord. That's the most effective 
uh, way to to be made strong in your, in the in your spirit by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Ghost, by God. Yeah, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great day. Amen. Hey guys, yes, I was just reminded um, uh, that Jesus talks about this in Luke chapter 10. It's the story of Mara and Martha. And Martha is very busy doing everything in the kitchen. She is. She believes that she is serving the Lord, but it's not in the spirit. She's serving the Lord in her flesh, worrying about all these things that needs to be done. You know, we need the food, we need everything to be in order. And I really believe that you have seen these people in your church, in your family. They are stressing about everything, worrying. Oh, everything needs to be done. We need to stress. Oh, oh we don't have enough time to do this and that. Oh, no, no, no. This is uh, the Martha in this um, Bible story. Uh, but then Jesus says, uh, Martha, you're worrying about a lot of things, but only one thing is necessary. Like, or only one thing is really important. And it is me. It's Jesus, you know, himself to spend time with him. And because Martha was watching, uh, or she could see that Mary, her sister, was just sitting there listening to Jesus and that's what we have to do we have to just sit there in the presence of Jesus and listen to him and even if we don't hear anything with our ears even if we don't hear anything in our minds you know he is still doing a work in you uh, and you can as you do this more you will start to feel his presence every time you walk into that place with him that secret place with the lord and uh, what i literally mean oh stop he is almost crashing don't go further okay he can just do what he wants anyway um yeah what i literally mean for my in my life is to close the door be in my room or another room get on my knees and just ask god to put me in his presence or i say lord i come to you by the faith of jesus christ and yes i ask you to just put me in the in the presence of jesus at the feet of jesus and then when you're in that place you will start to feel the presence of God, you will start to feel His power working in your flesh, in your body, literally, and in your soul. And this is the place of transformation. And we know at the Mount of Transfiguration, it's called that for a reason. You know, Jesus was there uh, with His three closest disciples, which were, which were um, James, John, and Peter. And uh, as they were there, they could see that Jesus was transfigured before them. His clothes turned so bright white, they couldn't barely watch him. They couldn't see him. Um, yeah, and they could see him in his glory. And they heard a voice from heaven saying, This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Right? So that's what we need to do. And as we spend time in the presence of Jesus, we are transformed from glory to glory, from Jesus' glory into glory. That means that we get to partake in Jesus' glory. His light will shine in our hearts. He will shine, make us to shine. Uh, exactly like when Moses was in the presence of God on Mount Sinai and he received the tablets written with God's finger the Ten Commandments, his face shone. And Moses, he felt his glory. He knew that his face was shining. He had been in the presence of the Lord. And he covered his face because he didn't want people to see the glory fade away. Okay, I am not sure the depth of this scripture. But anyway, as Moses 
as I was with Moses, so will I be with thee, says the Lord. Okay, that's in Joshua chapter 1 and verse 5. So, just because we're in a new and better covenant, and Moses said, Oh, I wish all of God's people were prophets, that he would put his Holy Spirit on all of them. You know, and that's the that's the season we are in, guys. God has poured out his spirit upon all flesh. All who wants to receive Jesus shall receive the Holy Spirit. As you are baptized in water, you shall receive the, the, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And even before that, you receive the Holy Spirit by faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, and you can prophesy, you can... Uh, ask God to endow you with power from on high and with the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And this is received, guys, in the secret place with the Lord. This is the most valuable time that you spend. It is in the presence of Jesus, at the feet of Jesus, not really doing much, but just receiving from Him, listening to what He has to say, letting Him show you things instead of you babbling because there's no no profit in that, not much profit in babbling to God. And that's also what Jesus said, that the heathens believe that they shall receive much from God from all of their babbling. You know, saying to God, la, 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 whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. We praise you, we worship you, we're so happy about you, God. No, that's not how you receive from God. You receive from God, yes, by asking. But not by how much you ask and everything. You need to stay silent. You need to shut up. Sorry. You need to stay silent in front of, of Jesus Christ. Okay? Not only talking, but also, and maybe most of all, listening to Jesus. And just letting Him do a work in you. Okay? And you can just be silent just sitting there. It's so easy, guys. But it's so important. And it's so transforming. It is your mount of transfiguration. You will be transformed there in the presence of the Lord. And as the Lord was with Moses, so shall he be with you. Okay. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.